Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com, once again with another great video for you guys. I want you guys to make sure you subscribe, make sure you give this a like, and make sure you leave a comment. So we are going to talk about five different things that you need to succeed as a freelancer or a remote developer. Number one, you need to be comfortable with HTML, CSS. A lot of times you're gonna deal with clients that's just gonna give you a design and they're gonna tell you, hey, could you build this for me? That's it, that's the only thing that they'll tell you, right? Build this for me. A designer gave it to me, can you build it? And you gotta be comfortable enough that, hey, if they give you a design, you wanna make it look exactly like that design, as long as they give you all of the assets. Assets means images, fonts, as long as they gave you that, you're good to go and should be able to build that with HTML CSS. Number two, being comfortable with a framework. One of the things that you're gonna bump into is a lot of companies online are looking for people who are specializing in different type of frameworks, either Angular or React. Those are the two main frameworks that you're always going to bump into. So you should be able to be comfortable with at least one of them. So like that, when they tell you, hey, we have a React position, remote or we have a react position for somebody to come in for contract work you're able to do that job okay number three you need to be comfortable with working with legacy code okay so if you know javascript and you're very comfortable with javascript you should be able to say hey i'm gonna be able to work on any type of project they throw at me if they come in and bring out angular 1.3 you should be able to go in there and look at the documentation and work on that project. If they tell you, hey, we want you to work with something that's in knockout, be able to go in there, look at the documentation, learn it quick to be able to change or add features to that website. You might see backbone, you might see a whole bunch of things that you haven't seen in a long time or you probably have never heard of. Okay, so working with legacy code is key. Number four, working with a CSS framework. Now you're asking yourself, Joe, if I could build this on my own, why would I learn any CSS framework? Why would I learn Bootstrap? Why would I learn Boomer IO? Well, you're gonna bump into a lot of clients who have code that is being built with Bootstrap. And not even Bootstrap 4, we're talking about Bootstrap 3. So you need to know at least one of the three main CSS frameworks, which are Foundation, Bootstrap, and good old Boma IO, okay? Number five, being reliable. I don't even know if this could be considered a skill. This should be something that should be given. Everybody should know about this, all right? So this is a big key for you to be able to succeed as a freelancer or a remote developer because you need to be able to say, hey, if a client comes in and tells me I need this by Friday, the work should be done by Friday. You can't come in with a story, oh, my dog went across the street, he got hit by a car. Oh, the lights went out over here in my neighborhood, there's no lights. I live in a third world country and you know sometimes the lights go in and out. Or being able to pick up a Skype call. Sometimes I see this all the time, like people that you hire online are not available on the hours that they're supposed to be available. Like you need to be reliable, okay? You need to be somebody who is professional and somebody who the company can depend on once they hire you. All right guys, so those are five of the things that I feel like you need to be successful as a freelance developer or a remote developer online. Make sure you leave a comment below so we can actually have a conversation and we could go back and forth on the things that you feel like maybe I missed or the things that maybe I forgot. So just let me know. Leave a comment and see your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com, hashtag codingface, hashtag the coding way.